This is a quick, about five minute introduction to making maps with PyGMT, an open source Python library for geospatial processing, analysis, and visualization. The contents of this tutorial represent one of several reasons why you might use PyGMT for your workflows, that is to plot geographic data. To start with, we'll import the PyGMT module. We'll then go on to our first task, which is to create a simple base map using PyGMT. We'll use the figure class, which is central to all plotting in PyGMT. Here, we create an instance of the figure class. We'll then use the base map method of the figure class to create a simple base map. We'll use three parameters to control the appearance of the base map. First, we'll use the region parameter, and we'll pass a list in the format of x min, x max, y min, y max, to specify that the boundaries of the plot should be negative 80 to 180 longitude and negative 70 to 70 degrees latitude. We'll then use the projection parameter to control how the data are mapped onto the 2D plot. The first character of our argument to the projection parameter sets the projection class. Here we'll use a Mercator projection. The second set of characters specify the map width. And we'll, here, we'll create a 20 centimeter wide plot. Lastly, we'll use the frame parameter to control the appearance of the map boundary. We'll simply use the Boolean value of true to use automatic frame settings. Each of these parameters allow a great deal of customization, and we have tutorials specific to the region, projection, and frame parameter in the PyGMT documentation. Lastly, we'll use the show method of the figure class to display the output of our, of our um, commands. So here we have our first map made with PyGMT showing a simple base map from negative 180 to 180 longitude and negative 70 to 70 degrees latitude. It's a Merc Mercator map with automatic frame settings. In our second task, we'll add some content to our map using the coast method of the figure class. We'll once again create an instance of the figure class, and we'll use the base map method to control the frame boundary. Here, we modify the argument to the region parameter by using the shortcut D, which specifies that it will be a global map centered on zero degrees longitude. We'll also adjust the argument to the projection parameter by using H to specify hammer projection rather than M to specify Mercator projection. We'll use the same true argument for the frame parameter. After setting up our map appearance, we'll use the coast method to plot shorelines. This is done by passing true to the shorelines parameter. And lastly, we'll display the figure using the show method. So now we have content on our map of the, of the uh, globe's coastlines. We can use other parameters of the coast method to color lakes, rivers, land, or water. Once again, we create an instance of the figure class and we plot our boundaries, uh, our map boundary using the base map uh, method. We then add a few, a couple more uh, parameters for the coast method. In particular, we specify that land should be colored dark green and water should be colored light steel blue. When we display our plot, we now see that the same coastlines are drawn, but we have also colored land as dark green and water as light blue. In our last simple task, we'll plot a raster image. Um, in particular, we'll plot the SRTM 15 plus grid, which is accessed through PyGMT's remote data set functionality. Our first step is again, creating an instance of the figure class, and our second step is to use the base map method to set up our map appearance. Then we'll use the GRD image method to plot the raster data. The first parameter is specifies what particular grid we'll be plotting, and this can accept an uh, X-ray data array or a file path. The first at character in our file path specifies that this is a special remote data set. We'll then specify that the remote data set will be an earth relief data set. And we'll use a 20 arc minute resolution. The second parameter is to controls the shading of the uh, earth relief image. And we'll use automatic shading. Then lastly, we'll display the results using the figure show method. 
So here we have a uh, gridded data set at 20 arc minute resolution in a hammer projection with automatic frame boundaries. This is just a small subset of the available plotting map methods provided by PyGMT. You can learn more by looking through the API documentation, checking out the tutorials or gallery examples, and reaching out to the community through our Q&A forum. Thanks for joining today.